We are on kick. We are live, so if you want, come join us. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, this channel right here, if we go live and you miss it, this is where all the highlights will be if there's any. We do got the Patreon. Everything's working A1 on the Patreon again, so, you know, come slide on us. Slide on us. We about to start Sherlock, and we about to vote on a new show today as well. Uh... Um, and we also got the Discord, you know what I'm saying? Uh, any of those are any of those links are down in the description, so just go ahead, you know, scroll down there, get to it. This is Harry Enfield, Arsenal 33 versus Liverpool 91. <sighs> this is in the Discord. We're down for it. Let's let's take a look. Uh, tell me, Grayson, do you think association football will improve with the introduction of the new professional player? No, Mr. Chumley Warner. <laughs> These amateurs will never be bettered. You can't expect a professional paid to do nothing but play football all day to achieve the same level of physical fitness as a man who works in a chip shop all week and only plays football on Saturdays. I must say, with all due deference, Grayson. Oh, hey, what is this is Harry Enfield. The logic, was this the logic back in the day? Someone who's paid to play football all day could not be better than somebody that works in a shop? I disagree with you. If you don't mind, Mr. Chumley Warner, you're quite wrong. <laughs> well, let's see if the short film could settle the matter. It's Full House at Wembley for one of the top matches of the 1933 season. One of the leading teams of today, Arsenal, formerly the Village Arsenal, against the Liverpool team of 1991. Oh, I get what's going on here. Okay, now I get it. So this is Arsenal back in 1933 when there were no professional players, when everybody was coming from, the, from work and playing part-time for the club. Versus Liverpool, wasn't ninety one a championship team in Liverpool? I don't know. You can don't quote me. But these are professionals, seasoned for greatness. This is how I figured the NBA would be though. Like back in nineteen twenty versus now, like it's not even a comparison. Mm. First time in black and white. <laughs> and they may also be surprised by the pace of the black and white game. <laughs> Liverpool may be professionals trained to the peak of physical fitness, but Arsenal aren't daunted. There's Nat, mind your legs please, Nuthouse warming up. And there's the captain, Charles, Charlie Charles, one of the famous Charles brothers. There's the right wing demon, Wilf, adapted for speed. And <laughs> skills. Hey, this is funny because listen, this is literally how old heads be talking. Like, man, back in 33, they couldn't compare to the game back then. Back in 33, the goalies was... Duh, 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 duh. The front strikers was... Duh, 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 duh. This is the same in every sport. These old heads living in the past be talking about the old teams could be do this, do that. The 1990, the current teams couldn't compete back in the day. Are you crazy? Man, don't do that. And in go the reliable hands that stand between the posts hardly. Charles, Charlie, Charles, shaking hands with the referee, Mr. Hollingsworth from Cheltenham, and our touching. He's knitted him a lovely scarf. And some of the other Arsenal players are passing around some shag and some nice-looking sandwiches. <laughs> they are. But Liverpool have taken account of the whistle, and they're off, and it's a go. Sorry, I can't remember you quite catch it. You can't turn around that quickly. Stan Hartley didn't even have time to put his cigarette out. <laughs> and the Liverpool team celebrate. They seem to be kissing. That's not Literally. <laughs> Literally. This is how I run laps around the old school teams. Man. So, Arsenal kick off. Their tactics obviously very, very different. Always keen eye for the ball. Charles, Charlie, Charles even spots when he's missed it. He shoots for goal. And it's a throw into Liverpool. The Liverpool player throws clean over their heads. And into the goal. Two, three, four. The only glimmer of hope for the Gunners is when they get the ball out of Finney on the wing. What's he going to do with it? Well, exactly. <laughs> so, 10 nil at half 
There's like no strategy back in the day. Like no strategy. I know this is like an, an exaggeration of what really was going on. I know they was really playing, but like the athleticism was like the athleticism, the speed, the you know, the style. This just doesn't compare. Time, Liverpool go back to the dressing room, but for Arsenal, it's some light refreshments. And for the club, top class half time entertainment with the man they call Mr. Banjo, Mr. George Banjo. <laughs> found that most pleasant. So the second half and Arsenal must have taken a stern talking to because they've come out with a markedly different approach to the game. <laughs> the whistle blows. This guy. Wait a whoa whoa! Wait a minute! What is going on? Why did we take a turn to the left so so vigorously? Yo! I'm still shocked at what I just seen. Some of the Liverpool players are trifle unhappy about that, and the referee's taking out his little black book. It's the Shorter Oxford Dictionary. He wants to look up what some of those words mean. And he's found one, and he's bringing on his mother to disprove it. <laughs> Ten all and a minute to go. Charles Charlie Charles waiting on the wing. <laughs> uh, the ball was glued to his feet. <laughs> he had that mug on the string, did he? Sporting finish to a sporting contest. Hey, yo. Yo. That's enough.